Welcome to Empire by the Ramp and welcome back to my Land Land Co campaign for Warhammer 3, where we're going to continue the from last time in the Old World mod. Well, right now, we're being attacked in the north, right now, by some vampire coast. Where at this point in time, I think we might. Mm, I'm going to be defending this because I might be able to win this. It depends on how my cav is able to do. Because right now, I have five, five, yeah, five units of cav. This is the first army I was able to just build up here as quickly as I possibly could. And we're going to try and see what we can do against this force. Um, if we fail here, I'm just going to be building up an army immediately after this uh, nearby to try and uh, try and deal with these guys. What we need to do is... There's not a lot of tree coverage. I wish there was. I need to get rid of the mortars and all of the gun units. As long as I can get some proper charges into the gun units and take them out before they get to freely fire into me... I should be able to do a pretty good amount of damage around here. Uh, they have four units I'm really worried about. Primarily, it's basically like the U U4, the Lord, and then all these guys. Because if I can just get my cab into you, I can do a good amount of damage. So that's... I, I basically think that like right now what we're going to do is... I need my Lord right now. I think he's going to maybe have to run forward. Like maybe have all my cav. Like I'm probably going to set up back here. I'm going to set my units up back here. All of my cab will kind of maybe go around here. We need to try and flank around and see if we can try and get rid of their artillery pieces quickly. And then, like, hey, once they focus onto my U dudes, that's when we come in from behind with all my cavalry. Like, if I can win this, I'll be pretty happy. Because then I won't have to build a random-ass army around here. Because for right now, what we're doing with this campaign is... I know by the time that you guys see this, I'll probably... Oh, there's a couple more trees. Um, I'll probably have... Oh, it's actually a building. Mountainside thing. There's more trees actually. That might be better. Didn't look like there's a lot of tree coverage actually. Um, by the time you guys see this, I'll probably have started my uh, poll for like what we're gonna do for the next campaign after this, because I do want to start thinking about that. You are you are mounted. Um, because I know right now we're, we I, I'm dead set on like what we want to do right now. I want to have it so that we're gonna be focusing our attention on to trying to liberate Estalia, unify Bretonia, and then like do a final invasion of like uh, like Norska a little bit, like just push up there a little bit, then do our final battle, and that will kind of be like the final send off. That's what I'm kind of thinking right now. And uh, but I still need to try and figure out like who we're gonna be playing then in the meantime. Then so you guys are all gonna be over here. Let's start the battle. We get you guys, because we're going to use this thing as a way to kind of defend our flank a little bit. So, like, right here, archers back up here, and then basically we're going to try and see what we can do with you guys trying to harass. Because the more I can harass with you guys, the better. If I can just easily hit them in the freer and try and take out their artillery pieces and then their skirmishers, we have a way better chance against you guys. Like, let's see, you, do you inspire people around you? You are a regiment yes. of renown. Let's see, you're immune to psychology. No, you're still just a peasant. Okay. And these guys are just basic men-at-arms. Okay. Well, for right now, you guys are trying to open fire on us over here. You're kind of focusing your attention onto my cab right now. So, yeah, you guys just keep trying to, run, like, run into the trees to distract them. So far, some of them are making their way forward, but a lot of them are trying to focus on us. Keep running. Keep running. And I have my lord specifically just charge over the... right now. Because they're trying to focus on the cav. They'll ignore the lord for right now. Let's see, those are the uh, pole arms for the death god. Ignore them for right now. Yep, cav keeps just going around the backside. Other mortars are right there, but my lord... He's my armor. Yeah, you can try and get them to drop that thing. And then I'll try and get everybody else to kind of help out over here as well. Bats, I'm not too worried about you guys making your way over here as you are. The other mortar's not doing anything. I'm going to have uh, you guys go make your way forward to go try and hit the other mortar. While the rest of my cav basically be trying to help out over here. Try and get in melee here. If we have to, we're going to have to make sure we don't want to fight you guys. These guys we want to ignore. We don't want to fight them at all. We want to just try and avoid them if we possibly can. So you guys keep making your way over here. I should have you two go this way too. Because they're making their way up to us. I'm going to have to make sure some of my cab is trying to harass them. Like, the, the fell bats and the deck droppers, you're taking some pretty good damage right here. Lord's doing what he can. And so if I can just have, yeah, you three. You're supposed to not be fighting in melee. You're supposed to keep just trying to run over here. Go for that other mortar. We can take them all out. Uh, Death Guard is making their way over here. I'm going to pull you guys out. You guys go there. You guys back off. Northern Mortar right now. We just want to make sure we're away from these guys. They are crumbling. 
which is good for us. Yeah, pull back away from the Death Guard. We do not want to fight these guys. Also, they're way too fucking fast at times. Alright, they are starting to focus on to my army here. They splintered off some of their forces. I'm trying to have it, so we're going to try and pull back here. We've taken out at least one mortar for sure. So ignore these units for right now. Let's try and focus our attention a little bit over here, primarily in the, like this guy. Because you are isolated away, you have more range than the others. So let's try and get you guys over here, you guys over here, and I will want to make sure that you guys have your charge set up here, because you'll be able to do more damage. Let's see, my lord for right now, let's have you go try and distract the goners there. I'm going to start trying to charge into some of these guys. Right there, right there, right there. You can try and hit these guys, the bombers, if they're going to be able to try and do something. Yeah, Lord is trying to distract for now. Try and distract them, just so we can get everybody else into melee here, if they're going to get some shots in. Keep charging, do not stop charging. Lord there, struggling at that. Okay, got some charges in here, just before the bombers got in there. Good. You guys absolutely wrecked that unit. Okay, try and get this next one. Good damage, good damage. Lord, if it's struggling, we want to get you out of there. You did a good job distracting them for a second. So let's pull back there. You guys are winning here, good. Let's pull the Lord back over this way to help out that side. A good chunk of them have died. So they've got some of their Death Guard over here. Archers. You guys, I think, um, yeah, we're gonna want to try and focus on you guys in a second if I can. You need to try and pull out of there. Lord, I need to distract these guys. Now, now help finish this stuff off first. They're currently losing because you guys aren't great at melee. Okay, I'll pull you guys out. Pull you guys out. You are now fighting some sirens, so we do not want that. You try and pull back over this way. You're trying to get out of there. This is going well so far. Yeah, taking some more damage than I'd like right now. Yeah, you go over there. Lord, trying to distract them. The Death Guard are right around here, so we don't like that. But, charge into these undead. Good amount of damage right there. Yeah, we want to keep cycle charging the best we can. So try and keep, like, pulling through these guys. Or focus onto the same unit. There, you should get over... Yeah, ignore the mortars. While they're not on something, we don't care about the mortars. We did lose some of my cabs, so my cab didn't run away. Let's try and pull away from here for a second. Pull back. Lord, those gunnery mobs. Come on, need to be able to charge in here before you guys die. If anything at all, I'm hoping that maybe we break these guys enough that they'll like pull back and they won't take the city. If they don't take the city, then that's fine by me too. God, I don't love that you guys, that you're just breaking off the map immediately. Like if my guys would stay and fight, I think you guys could do way better. Like, we're holding and we're doing some good damage against some of these guys. And if you guys aren't in actually being able to charge, you need to pull back. Get away from those guys. Do not fight the Depth Guard. Uh, we just hit army losses. Damn. Okay. You guys tried. You guys certainly tried. We did some good damage. Good amount there. They've got 500 guys left. We took out a good chunk of the troops. Like I said, yeah, these four units right here, those were the biggest, some of the biggest issues. Mortars didn't get to do anything. Took out most of their guys. I'm just going to hope they sack the territory. If they take it, then we do have to just make a new army, and we're going to have to try and come back and deal with these guys. That should not be bad. We can we can make something quickly to try and repel these guys. I will need some uh, a, a army up here to actually defend in the north, I think. Most of my forces right now, now that they're in position, we will be pushing into Astalia right now and try and see what we can do about uh, Rakarth and Wolfric. I don't think I think we can maybe kill Wolfric today. Depends on how things go. Because with all my armies now into position or down there, it should be a lot easier for us to be able to kind of push on into Rakarth, really hammer him down and take him out. So, we'll have to get some sort of army up here to try and see if we can help out against what these guys are doing. So, let's see. So, most... They only had one guy recover. No, two. They had two units recover. And they took it. Yeah, okay. That's what I thought. So, now we'll just have to have it, so we'll have to make a new army around here. Let's see, I haven't talked to you guys in a while. So, what do you guys have to say? More military access with small dwarves. Gladly accept that with you. As I'll need some more allies down south once we start clearing out more of Astalia. So what I'm probably going to be doing with this force up here, uh, because I can only recruit so much, 
or like quality wise so much around there i might just make two armies of crap to just descend at that as soon as possible because i want to try and make sure that they don't get to take any more territory besides that one city so we'll try and possibly make two armies probably one like right over here and one to the west hello military alliance you're paying me money gladly i'm glad they accept that yeah, so we'll make those two armies, and eventually I'll just turn it into one force. I think just one good force. Oh my god. <laughs> what do you guys have to say? Oh, trade. Yeah, gladly. Gladly take some trade. Oh, my not strength strength? One hell yeah. You guys also want trade there? Oh my god, just everybody wants trade. Holy shit. There we go. Yeah, my economy, especially once I get uh, Leonker, his troops, I'll be doing way better. Yeah, so you died over here, sadly. Cassium, you tried your best. But let's see, so we'll try and have it so... We're going to make an army over here. So... To make one of them is going to have to be a prophetess. So let's grab you. You're going to go right here. And then I can have you grab some cab around here. And then I'll have you grab especially some fire arrows. Try and grab that. So you'll start grabbing those guys. Uh, over here, I can also get some troops. This area can actually get better stuff, though. So I will grab... What are beasts, Lord of Life, Lord of Heavens... Um, you might die, so I'm just going to use up some of these people that I don't really want to use. But yeah, no, you go here. And then this area, I can get so much recruits in one turn. Um, let's grab... So I can grab some Knights of the Realm. Let's grab like six of those. Let's grab some Archers. So yeah, those two armies, that's the quickest I can recruit around here. We'll use you to be able to kind of push back this force. And then on that, uh, Leonker, um, at the moment, uh, yeah, you just took out those troops from Leonker. So he now has more of his Royal Hippogriff Knights. I do need to get, like, one more unit because I did miscount. Um, or we can have him just keep the Knights of the Realm unit. I feel like I should switch out the Knights of the Realm. Um, let's see, you guys over here. I'm going to want to have it so that I can probably have you guys go into this city. So let's uh, get you guys up. Attack! And then let's see, so decisive defeat there. And then if I bring in the Mad Lad, go into Encampment Stance. Push on up to help out with King Attack. Arthur. And then it says Valiant Defeat. I don't mind if you guys want to try and Strike sally a bit. Basically, ooh, actually I could just send Gotrick and Felix over that way. I think for right now, Lanker, uh, you can probably finish this guy off. Just kind of make sure there's not a lot around here, because I can just let you guys deal with them. If they sally out of the city, we win. Lanker can just kill you off right now. And basically, let's grab the money right now. Let's see. Lanker, I can't put you in encampment stance, so we're going to back up a bit so I can get some replenishment. Because I want to try and hit this city. I'm going to have it so that for right now, Gotrick and Felix, I will pull you back. Because again, I'm, gonna, I'm trying to bring you over to um, wherever she went. Yeah, Yolanda. Your yeah, you're trying to go over here, grab those units from Godric and Felix, because that's what your army will be composed of. But yeah, this guy is bringing me another unit of uh, Hippogriff Knights to give over to Leonka. I see you I thought I built some. Just start that lady. up. Start that up there. And then hopefully Leonka being down around here. Uh, the Green Knight still needs to group up with us. So join it up with us. And then we'll have it so I will be trying to hit this city next turn. So just sit there for right now and get some recovery. All my other armies, so you know I want to make sure that you guys are grouped up together in your little groups of two. So like right there, right there, and then yeah, right the there. And then we want to have it so that I will say... The Rapunz, technically. Yeah, we do have an odd number of you guys, but I think that's fine. Such so we'll have you seat. group up with Rapunz, we'll say, just so we have an additional army to help support her. Go there, and then you're making your way over. I... I'm going to be bringing over a troop anyways, but you're doing like five turns. It shall be so. so I'll keep moving you up to try and get over to Lanker. You can do that. Strength. Rank ups Order. then. Lanker, he's got his red line maxed out. I want to get... He's maxed out that. Again, I don't want these. Lion shield, reduce cooldown on that. Having more reduced cooldown for missile of his assistance and also spell resistance. That's pretty nice. Go with that. And then I think at this point in time, I will now... Yes, I will now put... Yeah, you're sorry. You're already, you are already on that. Um, you're already on a bench. Then let's just keep getting you some more defenses here. No, actually, I want more spread control first. Spread control there. And then you, Route Marcher... I can upgrade your spell once. It's fine. 
and then I can get a rank up over here for you. You're the guy that I just grabbed. Um, I will probably have you upgrade the peasant stuff. Get some peasant stuff and then upgrade yourself a little bit right there. And then for right now, yeah, you're just still watching over these territories. Is there anybody else that has poor public Double order? Because that's kind of where I'm having you go. This area's only like plus one, so you can go over there. What is your behest? You're still trying to catch up with, uh, yeah, it should be the Mad Lad's army. So you can try and make your way over there. Building-wise, again, we're trying to focus on our economy right now. So let's focus on that first. Um, uh, let's see, so... We got everything around here that I want. I think I need to get you for sure. And then I will grab at least the defenses for right now. Grab that. I don't care about that. Do you upgrade this. Upgrade the port. Upgrade this. You can upgrade this building. Uh, you can upgrade this, because again, I want more of that armor. I want all my peasants to have ridiculous armor at some point. Get some more growth around there. Upgrade this farm. And then I actually think this area is completely built up. Yeah, no. At this point in time, this area will be fully built up once you finish that. Beautiful. That's what we call. You can get some stuff. Um, You'd be getting defenses there. I don't have the resource around here yet, so we're going to want to grab that. And the only thing I'd want to grab... Let's see, do I have, no, I don't have enough for that right now. Yeah, because we'd want to get the, the, the defenses and then this. And then that'd be it for you guys, but I just don't have the money for that right now. Alrighty, you guys are going to be making your way out here. I am not going to let you slaughter my peasants, that's my job. Um, and so I'm going to be fighting this myself to try and save you guys. Primarily it saves the people's champions. So we're going to fight this ourselves, seeing as how, for the most part, I don't think this is that bad, given how many skirmishers I have here. And we've got the mad lad joining on up here to help us out. So as long as we can regroup with all my forces together, and we can just hold them at bay and let my skirmishers do all the work. Uh, this should not be that bad. The wolves and deuces and all the monstrous units could do a lot of damage, uh, possibly, but uh, we'll hope that they don't, because basically we'll just get set up back here, and then we, it's only about a minute uh, for my reinforcements here, so I'm gonna hope that they take the time to kind of wait a little bit before they advance onto us here, because at this point in time right now, is we do have a healer here, so we do have a way to get some healing on our units. And uh, I'm probably just going to regroup with my allies, just make my way over here immediately, set up over here, get my archers all in position. Um, I can't remember if the Mad Lad's archers all, all fire. I think they are. Because if that is the case, then we have an army of just all uh, the poison archers. And we have an army of all f uh, fire archers. So you guys should be able to do some quite a bit of damage there, because they only have a couple skirmishers. So as long as we can just single out their single entities and their monsters out pretty quickly, this should not be that bad. That's my hope, at least. And then once this is destroyed, we have more forces making that way up. But yeah, let's have you guys get grouped up here. You're both flying. All the peasants up in front initially, because you're just trying to kind of guard them. And then we need to have my, all my archers. So... I am going to have it so they're probably, because there's going to be so many archers, I'm going to have you guys on skirmish mode, just because it's going to be hard to control all these guys, and they do have the fire variant. So, perfect. so yeah, get started, get this started up here, and then we'll pull back a little bit more, just a little bit, well actually, yeah, no, I actually kind of want to be next to this building, so yeah, we will stay around here, but we'll have this kind of covering our right flank a little bit right now, and at least thankfully you guys have like no artillery at least. Well, they're off to a good start doing some, using a lot of their random damage on some of my peasants. I'm just going to get a basic heal off here. For right now, heal, uh, all my forces are almost onto the map here now. Come on, come on, come on. I need especially the heroes. Because I need you guys. Go over here. So go over there. Other peasants. Try and regroup here. And then I'll have all my uh, horse archers. I uh, know my horse archers. My fire archers. Get a position. So you get over here to fight the dragon there. So try and fight her. Peasants are going to die, a lot of peasants are going to die, but that we knew was going to happen. Get more of my archers over here, again, put skirmish mode on there, and then I just need to keep trying to cast he healing every once in a while, and magic every once in a while, if I can. So I'll try and have you hit those Doomfire Warlocks, that's not going to do the most damage, we need some sort of heal getting up here. And I think I might have you try and distract these giant wolves for us. Uh, currently, you're getting your asses kicked, oh no, you're kicking your ass. There you go. Yeah, distract there. Because once you're out of the way, once this dragon is out of the picture, it should be a lot easier for us to take out the rest of their army. Okay, let's have you just distract the wolves and have my archers here kind of try and help out a little bit. You guys keep hitting the dread spears. Or actually, help out with those harpies. Oh, the shades, no shades, I'd say. 
Hit the shades. All archers are supposed to be trying to skirmish right now. The best they can. I need you. Let's see if I see any areas to cast. Get some casts over there. Their lord is running. Let's try and have you focus down the Medusas. Or actually, let's hit these blue swords. Let's try. And my infantry is shit, so we need to help out my infantry the best we can. Also gives me a better way to try and get some heals over here. To heal those guys up. Get them up there. Let's see. So for right now, our warlocks are doing some good damage there. I do focus your attention over here while she's distracting them for you. And if I have to, I'll cast some stuff on top of you. Let's see. Just a bit there. Lord came back. Actually, you guys, you know, keep finishing off those shades. I need to finish off that Lord of hers. Because she. Get back in here. She's like one hit away from death. Let's see. Keep trying to heal around here. And then keep also doing some magic on top of you just to explode around these guys. Probably gonna want to get out of here if I can now. Out of melee. Archers are doing okay. Enemy Lord is dead now, at least. So that should hurt you guys quite a bit. Yeah, you two right now just keep trying to focus on skirmishers. And hopefully we can just keep trying to get some more heals. Archers are not doing the best right now. Okay, you're stuck. Keep exploding them. Because even if they keep trying to go after you, you can keep doing some good damage and then try and pull away from them. I'll keep focusing on trying to have it so like for right now. Let's have you go over to these guys. Oh, some of them are shattering a little bit. I do like to see that. Let's make sure we keep getting some more heals over here. Because it does help out the entire army. So kind of help out around here, help out with the skirmishers. Infantry is basically doing crap. You guys are done with that one skirmisher. Keep focusing on other skirmisher units right now. Because if we have to fight the infantry with you guys, that's not that bad. Like, as long as my units don't just die and they run off the map, it's fine. Like, I will be... It, it, that's the only issue. I just don't want you guys to die. I just want you guys to survive. Because my entire army can probably be... Their entire army can be destroyed primarily just by my heroes. I love that. I don't even know why, but these peasants over here fucking holding, like, bosses. You guys have been doing amazingly. For right now, though, uh, we've been doing well. I'm just having it so that for right now... You guys are trying to focus down the Medusas now at this point, because they're doing some damage. So, heroes, you're all grouped together. Basically, just keep healing you guys. Yeah, these five units alone can take out the rest of the enemy army. Like, focus down the Medusa here. Focus down them. Uh, you guys... I don't know what just happened there and why you guys took so much damage, but that's okay. As long as you guys keep holding and I don't lose my healer here, we should be okay. I think concerned about how things are going. I keep healing over there. You need to help out over here. Kind of try and debuff these guys too. Because basically I've got you guys right now. You're trying to focus on that one Medusa. You guys are trying to focus on this blob. I need you to out of melee if I possibly can. They've got to be getting hit, close to hitting army losses here though soon too. Because you guys have taken a lot of damage. I keep trying to go after you guys. Try and go together after the Medusas right there. Because it's just the heroes now. Just the heroes now at this point in time. All of you guys pull back for right now. Kind of gather some resources together before we try and heal. Because I want to try and see if I can get all of you together before I do that. Because yeah, the Medusas. You guys are like the last unit that's really mattering. Oh, they do have a lot of skirmishers here. Uh, skirmishers, as long as I'm in melee with them, it's not as bad. I just need to get you guys group up. Group you guys all together. This one's well after this one's dead. Okay, so that one's running at least. Okay, get over here again. I just need to keep you in the back line. Oh, uh, that shot hurt. Yeah, they've got that one Medusa still. Okay, but I can get some healing on all four of you. Yeah, there we go. Keep getting that healing up. And I'll probably try and have it so that I might save my ammo now for explosions. Because now they're starting to get blobbed up over here. So like over there. You guys just keep fighting. And then I'll basically have the healing we get from just using spells in general be from us guys and the explosions. Because if we can do that, like, she's currently winning around here. You guys are currently winning around here. Do you, oh, you have an ability. Oh, fuck. Yeah, use that to get some health back on you, man. Ah, oh, shit. I'm gonna hope you come back. Come on, Merlin, come back. Merlin, come back. Merlin, come back. Merlin, come back. Fuck. Uh, well... Can we win this with just what we got right now? We'll have to see. You guys are pretty beefy. 
We'll have to see about this. Oh, come on. Come on, guys. I believe in you. I believe in you guys. I believe in you. I don't have any other heals. I have to just hope you guys win the fight. And it's really fucking close. Oh, come on. Who's left? The fuck, it's you. It's fucking Medusa. She's gotta be the only one left that's really holding you guys together. So get rid of them. Come on, finish them off. Medusas have gotta be really high value, so single them out. Then skirmishers. Oh, you guys are so close to dead. I am as well, though. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Go for the really high health ones. Focus them down. There you go. Oh, this is so fucking close. It's probably gotta hit you next, the dark shards. Okay, dark shards next. Because that's the highest unit I see after that. Hit army loves you fuckers. Okay, I have to split my attention. This dark shard, this dark shard. Speed up. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Hit army losses already, for the love of God. You guys are so close. I know you are. Come on, hit this one next. Hit this one next. Hit the really high health units. Over here, guys. Some of them are breaking. Take Hit this guy. dark shard next. Keep using your speed. Please, for the love of God, tell me that's army losses right there. Dark shards right here. Hit this one next. Come on, King Arthur. I'm not having you lose this fight, man. Fucking die! Is that it? No, nope, still not. <laughs> Come on. So many of you are death flagging. There we go. How much health did, uh, did King Arthur have? 468. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Beautiful. If Merlin didn't run off the map, I would have been able to... Uh, that would have been a way easier fight at the very end there. But there... Oh god. Yeah, most of my army survived. Like, I took like half my health on my infantry and my archers. Uh, I think the same thing happened in the Mad Lad's army, but like, hey, we destroyed them. Uh, I will now have it so that we're, we're definitely going to have to like do the uh, fight myself the next turn. Um, and just get some health back on my units. Because I there's no way in hell I should lose anything um, when we assault that city now at this point. As long as they don't bring reinforcements over. I hope they don't bring reinforcements over. I know uh, the Mad Lad actually, he should be um, he should be in garrison stance. So he'll recover. He will recover some health. King Arthur is, a, is just the one that's really beat up here. Because he was the one sieging. Merlin's alive because she got off the map. And my army's fine. It's just, again, I just want you guys to route off the map. I don't want you to die. That's the thing. So I lost nothing. Yep, I'm going to take um, some unit experience there. And just go past them. Yes, it went. It did. So they should be okay. Now, let's see. So, do I need to fight this battle myself? I might need to just to get to recover. Because I see this army out here, which I don't like. Mad Lad did get to recover. So he did get to recover. This fight here. It says I lose so much of my crap. There's no. No way. Especially once I start hit getting everybody healed up here. Uh, we should. They're so beat up. Like, I know we took some damage, but, like, even still. Because it's either I could siege again for one more turn. Or we can have it so that uh, we try and have it so we assault now. Because I'll get to i get to heal so much healing on you guys. And then we should be okay here. I mean, it just sucks a bit. Oh. Okay, that's not what I meant to do, but... Uh, hey, the Mad Lad, you, you were able to get some healing. Let's have you uh, continue the siege for a second. And uh, I'm going to put you into a cannon stance. I meant to continue sieging for a second and uh, have Lankur. Lankur. Actually, if Lankur comes over, he'd just absolutely destroy you guys. Let's see. If I bring Lankur over, do you guys even need to do this fight? Let's see. No, I don't lose anything. Okay. Let's just do that. 
that way we can just occupy this territory. And then we'll be able to have it so... Blessing lost. <laughs> Damn it. Uh, because of me breaking the siege. Oops. Yeah, land card, just stay around here to make sure they don't try and jump us while these guys are trying to recover. So, you guys keep trying to do that. Uh, these armies, I'm going to have you go over more to the east. So, you go over here. So, we want to have it so that some of you guys are going to be trying to make your way over. Um, Godric, you're going to be going with... So, Rapunzel's going to go on her own. I actually want you to go... Actually, I should have it... God, Gottfried, you were going originally with Valentine. I, otherwise, I can have you go with Godric and Felix. But then I'd have, like, yeah, Rapunzel going on her own. You're... Do you know who see. I am? You need to make your way over to... You want to go before. here for right now, because you're right there. You keep making your way over to Lancer. This guy still needs four more turns until he can do something. Uh, back up here now. Let's see. So I grabbed as many guys as I could. You can't get to that city this turn. Neither can you. Um, I want to go... Let's see, so go here. Encampment stance. You. Devotee of the lady. I hope you don't take that territory for me. I don't want you to do that. Yes. I'll go and here. Now, yes. I'm gonna have you grab some more cab around here. And then I'm gonna have you maybe grab more archers for you right now. Like that. I see much. I can get a little closer just by going up here. My path is and then clear. I can have you guys just grab some troops from down here. So just get. We want just more stuff that we can get in one turn. So you and you. And then hopefully next turn you guys can take these guys out for me. And then recruits. Let's see. Get more spread. Control. King Arthur. I want you to get Death Onslaught. And then also uh, Lady's Mantle. <laughs> you took a lot of missile damage Do you know the last who turn. I am? So that, or the lady, spell resistance. I'm going to have you also get a physical. This is more range damage. Replenish troops also upgrade that, too. I will you also get lady's mantle and then colossal strike. And then we also have the mad lad. And defense. Or actually, no, I should, no, you already have lady's mantle. Blessings and then you of need the to get melee defense and some you. more health there. And that's good for all of you guys. Building wise, keep focusing on our economy. Well, that's good for right now. Um, let's see. Upgrade that. Upgrade that. We don't need to upgrade this right now. We don't need to upgrade this stuff right now. I do want to... Let's upgrade this first. That's what I call. Okay, so you need to grab this. And then grab at least defenses for right now. I think we're okay to use you are. Upgrade that. That defenses and then I don't think I need the growth anymore around here yeah you can demolish that you can get rid of that growth stuff there border low let's see and then that's all the money we got for this turn Regard. <laughs> yeah he wants a piece to be driven kicking his ass no not with all my armies over here um so King Arthur oh, you seriously don't have land car around here Lanker's not in range of you. Can you withdraw? Yeah, you're fine. All right, it looks like you guys are going to be attacking here. I am actually very okay with Samuel. I'm sorry. Just, just, just fight. <laughs> just, just go for it. I'm just gonna let you take the auto resolve there because this means they at least pulled that army away, and uh, I'll be able to try and hit the territory next turn with my other army. This is why I made two. Um, they able to take the city back, and that was enough damage. I don't think they'll be able to take any of my territories around there. That's the hope. So we'll have... Uh, I also need more, like, actual casters. I don't have a lot of caster lords right now. Almost every single one of my lords is a melee lord. And so it's kind of a nice way to have it so that they can uh, have a time to shine. So I'll make that army. Depending on how I want to make that different, because the thing is with Bretonia, there's a lot of... There's not a lot of variety in army compositions that I can make. That's the, like, one thing that I'm kind of sad about. Like, we only have archers. <laughs> we only have archers for skirmishers. We have the same cab units. Uh, blessed knowledge or blessed uh, people? For, uh, upkeep for infantry. I'm going to say blessed knowledge. I want my research rate. So let's do that. So back up here. And then, were they beaten back? Oh, yeah, they, they destroyed that army for me. Okay, so then you 
Do you have enough movement for that? Fortune Just barely. So yeah, you can reclaim this territory for us. And then I'll be giving you a, a new army. You'll be the new army that stays up around here for right now, I'd say. So you just need to rebuild all this stuff that we lost up here, sadly, but that's okay. At least you are now, we've got somebody to kind of watch over these territories. So now, back down here. Let's see. So, Lanker. Let's see. King Arthur was able to get some replenishment. Same with the Mad Lad. Guardian. You push in here because they're going to run away. Then I can have Land Kirby, the one that destroys this force. By the light of the lady. Because he has taken like no damage whatsoever right now. So you can take them out. And we almost have my other cab units I want almost here now at this point. Get some more money. So grab that. Land currency. So. There you are. So. Oh, I, I can give them a little bit of this turn. Okay, so you can finish these guys off for us. There we go. Uh, money's not worth it, so I have enough money. Okay, so now what we'll do is Lanker. Let's uh, let's see, get a little bit closer. Lady. You need to go over here, and then we want to grab. I'm gonna grab all these guys, switch them out, and then I just need the one more unit for Lanker. You, for the moment, just bring these guys up here. Uh, Lanker, then we just, need, we just need one more unit, and his army's ready, and his army's completely finished up. Let's see. So now you guys will be continuing to make your way down here because we're going to spread out. Um, actually, I feel like Lanker should be focusing over there. But yeah, still, I think we'll have you guys. Because how many more turns until this guy's done? Honor three turns. Glory. So three turns. I, I still think we'll have, like, yeah, Lanker. You, you're, you being the Vanguard works out really well. Over here right now, you guys are a little beat up still. And where's that hero? Because getting replenished troops on you uh, is amazing. So get over there, hop out over there. You guys just sit here for a turn. You need to get through some more recovery. I do love that we're starting to see more armor, because now it's 23 armor on my peasants. I can't wait until it's, like, amazing. Yes. So let's get you guys to push forward here. And here. Very well, I go. So you make your way there. For pawns, I'll have you kind of help out down over here for right now, I'd say, since we've been able to take we've taken quite a bit of damage on King Arthur. Uh, Gotcherik, I'll have you go with uh, Gothreed and everybody. So you go down this way and this way. I wonder we need to get... Because you're not going to be uh, able to work on your own all the time. I can actually have it so your lawn does the one that moves up with you. I have seen your heart. Because you could have hit my cities. No. Have to be. We should be okay there. Um, you're, you're just going to chill there for right now. Building-wise. Let's see. So, Lanker. Of the lady. I want you to get Lady's Mantle. Then also get some more melee attack, I would say. You're already auto managed. You need to get me some more uh, Devastating Charger now. Let's see. Do you know who you I am? You need to get some punishments. Oh, actually, no, you need to get this first. Get that first. You. Um, probably upgrade. Yeah, upgrade your casting Make first. Same thing. You need to get some casting upgrades around here. And that's all you guys can do. You're just watching over these areas. Uh, I'll basically move you up to any area around here that's kind of in the red. Yeah, like bring you over around this way should be fine. So make your way there. Then building wise, let's see. Economic, what do we do? So I want to just keep maxing out my economic buildings first. Upgrade this farm. You can upgrade this. You can upgrade that as well. Upgrade the garrison as well. I'm going to hold off on... Well, actually, I think this army, I want to get some Blessed Trebuchets with. Because... Uh, I think they're not bad. Blessed field Trebuchets. I'm not opposed to that. I think that's like one thing we can do. That's a bit more unique. Upgrade the farm here. Get this. Old Musalon. You need to upgrade the castle there. Pale Sisters... I think that's almost all the main economic buildings I can grab right now. Yeah, no. Any other excess cash we've got can go into military stuff then. Let's see. So, Al is beginning construction on Outpost. All good there. My let's see. Land Kerr. So, let's see. So, I can have you Lord guys. I want people to assault there right now. Uh, Land Kerr, though, can hit this city. So, I'll have you hit this territory. Once I get that last unit in this army, I will then actually have it so that we can try and... I'm going to put also this on the Land Kerr now. Um, does he have flaming attacks by default? Uh, he does. So we don't need to give that to... So he has flaming attacks. Now let's put that on my pallet. Let's put that on my That way you also have flaming attacks. Uh, but no, this area we can slaughter. 
Uh, once I get that last unit of his that I want, I will then try and have so I want it in properly showcase. There we go. Her vow has been completed. Uh, then I can try and showcase this army because this is this is his endgame army. He's just waiting on this guy right here. He needs two more turns, then he'll be able to do something. King Arthur and the Mad Lad now, though. I'm going to have you guys. So make your way over down this way. Leaving. So right there and right there. Rapunz, I can have you try and take these guys out. I can then try and have Gotrick and Gottfried. Um, let's see. You guys can't Attack. assault the city immediately, can you? No, you cannot. So you'd have to seize that. Yes. Karthus' army, his isn't that, uh, that crazy of an army. And I can get you guys almost over here in time to support. So I think you guys will be good. You are bringing stuff over to your Londa. So bring all these guys over to Yolanda, and then I can uh, disband you for now. I don't need you at this point in time. This army here. Let's see. Who needed to do vows at sea again? So you've got yours. Valentine does. So does Gottfried. King Arthur is good. Uh, Talbert also does. So basically, man, that's good. Okay, so it's basically uh, most of these guys over here. As if I send you guys over here, I could actually try and attack you, and that would count. So that could be a way for us to complete that vow over there. Um, Yolanda, though, I can actually start moving you out now. Uh, this army here, we won't put this army besides just the cow, because you're not Lanker. <laughs> I can probably just give you some basic peasants to fill out the rest of this army, and then I'll probably start moving you out. Actually, we can move you forward and then start recruiting. So, right there. So, go with that. And then, you are just going to be chilling up here for right now. Yeah, I just want you to watch over this area. I'm not going to really be doing much with you. I will want to update this army to be not just cav and just archers, but for right now, we'll, we'll keep you as you are. I don't think there's a reason to worry about that too much. Um... This is Merlin. Merlin should get the aura. Oh no, get the replenishment stuff still first. Keep focusing on that for right now. My reputation. Mad lad, get some more health there. Uh, you need to keep upgrading the spells you've got. And then that's there's nobody else there to get more upgrades. Building wise, now that I've maxed out my economy stuff as much as I can, so I can just now upgrade everything else. So keep upgrading all of this stuff here. You, you, you. I can upgrade this again to get more money again. I've got a tiny bit more money. I don't need these here, though, so I can demolish that stuff. And I do need to put, at this point in time, we can just get the more uh, yeah, more research rate. Because you guys are doing fine public order-wise. Hello, Ricarth. So this one, I'm going to take the auto resolve. I only lose just the normal peasants. And you guys don't have any no named units here, so I think it's okay. Basic peasants are a lot easier to get, get back than the normal archers. So we'll let, uh, this is Valentin. He's going to be the one that takes out Ricarth here. That will give us then the city as well. And it will allow us to kind of push on into you guys a little bit faster. Because that's the whole point of right now is Ricarth is on the ba his back foot. We're going to be destroying him hopefully today. Um, it, well, let's see, I'm like, probably going to be going for like another 10 minutes. I don't know if he'll be fully destroyed, but he's at least going to be weakened. Because right now we're pushing in in multiple directions. All over the place right now. To try and secure his land in Estalia. Which, with his army now destroyed, should be a lot easier. Because for right now... Let's see. So you've won most of your battles now. Good. And you've now defeated Rikarth as well. So many people have gotten his retreat right now. I almost feel sorry for Rikarth. We've kicked his ass so many times now at this point. So you know let's have you guys... Let's see. I want to keep making my way over here. Uh, I want to make sure we're in my own territory. Because I should be able to go right here. And... Am I not in my own territory? There, oh, there's no military buildings in this area. Oops. Okay. I thought there were. Okay, well, you can move forward. Taking my leave. At least have you get fall. the peasants for right now. Just, just grab the peasants for you, and then we'll have you grab your peasants next turn. Um, I thought I would be able to get those over here, but uh, at the moment, no. Uh, we don't need this building. So move that out of there. Gotrick and Felix. Let's see. So I'm going to have you guys go more over. Why is there attrition? Oh, there's. there's uh, okay. 
I did not realize that there is Slanesh corruption over there. Okay, well, let's just put into Force Ball. Okay, we'll do that at the border. So, go right here. And then we'll have it so that we'll adjust next turn to start going into Encampment Stance. You guys are kind of make your way over around the northern section. Um, at the moment, let's see, Rapunz. You should be able to take this. Yeah, don't lose anything. Take out these guys. Make that charge bonus on that right there. Armor piercing. I'm going to put that on you guys. Yeah, give you some more armor piercing damage on that unit. So, for Bonds now, now, you will have been able to hopefully take out these Vampire Coast guys. If they're now dead, beautiful. King Arthur and the Mad Lad. So, you guys make your way down here. You should take these guys out. By that. And then let's keep pushing forward with the Mad Lad as well. Making your way forward. And let's see. So, then. You'll be able to easily keep going down this way. Rapunzel will probably go down. Actually, she you might not even need to. Lanker. Let's see, this guy's ready next turn. Yolanda. You kind of just keep making your way forward. I will probably have Lanker make his way down this forth. way. Cameron Stance. I'll have you. I'll go for. I'll go for this city. I'll go for this city next. I can have you guys kind of loop around here. I can have Rapunzel be able to make her way around over to Belmaz. So she can try and do that. You don't need to do anything around here right now. I have seen the Somebody else hasn't moved. No, that's just root rank ups. So this is Valentine. Um, let's get some more Woundmaker. Let's get you the Lady's Mantle. You need to upgrade your casting here. Definitely need to get you Arcane Conduit. Let's see, Ambrose defense is there. King Arthur. Um I need to get your charge bonus stuff. And then we can it have uh, Pelinol. You will want to get some more weapon damage. Let's see. Talbert. Melee defense. Armored healer, lifeblood, and er, oh, sorry, life bloom and earth blood. Do you Samuel, know who I am? more defenses? Pons. We've been trying to have you upgrade more of your own personal lines. So let's see if you get some more armor right there. Uh, you need to get some more health there. You need to get some more weapon damage. Let's also get some more weapon damage. The healer here, lifeblood, and then life bloom, and then earth blood. And you, armor. Oh, actually, no, you actually have over here. So get the colossal strike, and then that's it for all of you armies. And then just economic stuff. So, building-wise at this point, my economy is beautiful right now. I make almost 30k per turn at this point in time. Like, I might start getting a, just a massive surplus at some point soon now because I've been able to get my economy so built up. Like, honestly, I love the Bretonian economy. I, I find it interesting that this campaign has made me realize, like, honestly, I really like Bretonia. I want Bretonia to get more DLC now because I'm, like, actually really enjoying Bretonia. Like, a ton. Like, way more than I thought it was. God, I'm getting so much trade now at this point. I, I can't remember, and I need to double-check this. If I have access to a thing that, uh, a edict that gives me more trade income, trade tariffs. I know that was one of the main ways I made a ton of money in my, um, Carl Franz campaign when I played as the Empire. Because that really does benefit the, uh, good guys a lot more, is being able to get so much money off of trade deals. If you can just keep increasing your trade tariffs through um, either buildings and or um, edicts and stuff like that. Which, I don't know if we have one. I haven't been paying attention. I've just been doing either the one that gives me research rate or uh, public order. Which, at this point in time, look at that, more research. So now we have more melee attack and melee defense for my knights. Hell yeah. Now at this point... Oh, I need to remember to do all this crap too. Because I get more chivalry against uh, Norskins. Get more leadership against them. I get a lot of stuff against Norskins. I'm going to actually like queue that up now, I think, right now. Because I know I'm going to want to get some more stuff over here, so I upgrade my archers more. But I probably should get some of this stuff. At least, like, I know... That I'm going to be fighting Norskins, so getting that for sure. And I know... I kind of want to have it so that we... Like, there's some trade tear stuff. More trade tear stuff. Non-knight units... I kind of want to get more stuff, like, around here. If anything, I want this. I do want this. I'm going to grab this first because it takes two turns. Then we can start trying to go down this because this will take me ten turns total to grab. 
Um, because at the moment, I, I really do want that ward save for Grail Knights and Grail Guardians and everything like that. Because I'll just make my army um, for Leonkar even stronger. But first, let's grab this stuff. So grab you. Leonkar. Let's see. I'm probably going to have you do the last thing for today. Because possibly, because at, at this point right now, the Mad Lad, you can't get to the city this turn right now, sadly. Um, I'll just have you keep pushing forward. King Arthur as my well. Wisdom, you guys will be able to hit uh, Nuja next turn. Uh, Rapunce. The lady calls me. Uh, this area From should Victoria, be fine without you, I think. Just get some more growth around here to be able to grow this area up a little faster. And then I can your have words. you make your way out. For it's minus seven, that's okay. Fully. If you consider the fact that there's instability, escaping corruption, all that's going to be going down. You guys will be okay. So all of you guys move over there. But Rapunce, uh, I, land land. I, I want to have it basically, we'll just do like one battle, like possibly over here. No, over here. This one has, this one has more people, just so I can showcase. I don't have that last unit of his yet, but he's at least now making his way up. Like you, make your way down here. Rush on down, try and catch up with Lancur so you can give him that unit. I can at least over here with uh, Talbert and everybody. Let's have you push in here. Finally to beat my ass. And I can get you over here with, to help out Talbert. Should be fine there. Then we just need to get you some more peasants in this army. So occupy that. And then I'll have Talbert get some more peasant infantry. So grab some more peasants there. And then... Ooh, you just got some more of the uh, fire banner too now. Nice. But yeah, Godric and Felix and everybody, let's get you guys start making your way over here. Start trying to make your way into the lands that have the uh, the corruption around here. It is going down a little bit. So if you guys start out around here, should be able to help out. So that's all of you guys moved. Yolanda, I'll have you keep making your way up here to kind of... You can at least be kind of a garrison army to help out with public order. And then I think it's just land courier. So, we're going to do this fight simply because I just want to showcase his army. Because it's almost, this is basically his endgame force. The only thing that has to happen is, like, I can get some um, more ward save for you guys and you guys. Like, these guys can get up to, um, actually, up towards 18% uh, ward save. Uh, you still need to get your rank ups, too. Oh, technically I can get, yeah, because you all have 8% ward save. Hell yeah. Beta. Let's let's showcase this battle just to showcase Lancur's final army, basically. And then, Rikarth is basically destroyed at this point. He does not have much left at this point in time. We're getting ready to finish him off. I've got all my armies rushing over down here. And I can even make more armies, honestly. And I think I might. The fact that I can just say, Hey, let me grab a lord, a paladin, and a caster. And then just throw them in. Uh, just like, give them a shit ton of peasants. And have them just support them. Like, that actually works out amazingly well for trying to push into a bunch of factions. Okay, let's say, like, let's have you guys grouped up, and then you're going to be with the, the Royal Hippogriff Knights are going to be with you guys, because you're all the Flyers. That's all of you. Uh, I'll have the Green Knight be leading uh, my Cav here. Actually, I should maybe have him on his own. You guys can have him on as well. But there we go. Let's get you guys on this side here. You can be over here. Make sure everybody has guard mode off. And then I can try and have it. So let's start to deployment. Start to battle. And then let's just... This is going to be... This is going to be mean. This is going to be so fucking mean. Given the army that I have here at this point in time. Like if I just look, down, look at this force. So these are my Royal Hippogriff Knights. So literally everybody basically looks like Leonker now at this point. Everybody's mounted on a royal hippogriff. Wait, that guy almost got the green knight up here. Almost. Um, let's see, we got you guys. Yeah, the Grail Guardians. Is there a bit of difference between you? So, yeah, these are the Grail Guardians. And then I've got you guys. Okay, so you guys just have the lance. These guys have the sword. Okay, so you all have the same flaming thing. You all kind of look about the same uh, besides that. Okay. But no, everybody basically is a flaming sword in this army. Yeah, here we go. So this is you guys charging in. You're going to absolutely wreck this army. <laughs> oh, yeah, the ability. God, does Lancor even need the other cab units? Like, I could just have him just have the all Royal Hover Grip Knights. I'm fucking tempted to. Because, like, why the fuck not? Like, you guys can go there. You guys can come around here. I've already done a good amount of damage. Lancor himself is just wrecking you guys. 
do all the time. Having flying monsters cap is just really fucking fun. It really is. Because, like, you guys here, I just charge on there. You guys charge in the backside, and let's help finish them off. Because there was no chance for them here. I just wanted to showcase these units. Since I've never been able to get an army like this fully together in a campaign, and I just love it now. I, I do feel like I could see myself with Lancur just replacing everything with uh, the Royal Heavy Grip Knights if I really wanted to be that mean. But I probably shouldn't be that mean, I think. Are they still alive somehow? Like, what's left? <laughs> Who's still standing? Oh, there's some Dread Spears here. Oh, that's fine. There we go. I, I don't even need to use my fucking caster at this point now. But, there we go. Beautiful. Now I've been able to, uh... I, I still need the one more Royal Hippogriff Knight for him. But, uh... No, there we go. We've been able to take the city now. That's not bad. We weren't expecting any issues here. But uh, Leonker's army is just about done. I could almost have it so Leonker maybe goes north already to just start doing the Crusade in Norsko, like, right now. I feel like I should still have him down here, because him being the vanguard into Astalia really has made things a lot easier for us. His army... I don't know what it'd take to defeat him right now. Like, one v one on one, what could defeat Leonker right now? There's not a lot. Leonker is actually pretty strong at this point in time. So we'll, I think next video we'll be finishing off the forces of um, Rakarth. I'm already starting to push into uh, Wolfric already now too. So it's like we're not only pushing just into Rakarth. But he's he's almost dead. So I think next video we'll probably finish off. I might be able to finish off Rakarth and Wolfric next video. And then after that we have to finish off those uh, Slanesh demons down here. I have to still start the war with uh, Ikit. Ikit's army actually could do a lot. Now that I think about it. Ikit's armies are always, always fucking busted. But I do think, for right now, I will be done for today. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, let me know down in the comments down below. Love hearing what you guys have to say about this campaign. Any thoughts about it in general? Let's ramp in. I'll see you guys next time. Start the war with uh, Ikit. Ikit's army actually could do a lot.